Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with my first ever tag video. So I'm super excited to do this. I was tagged by lovely Rosen Jones here on YouTube. If you have not checked out her channel, you definitely need to. I will link it below for you. Uh, she is a lovely fragrance reviewer. She does her fragrance reviews in the style of Amy Loves Perfume and Casually Fragrant, where they just kind of focus on the perfumes. She has an amazing collection of fragrances. Um, she's got impeccable taste and she is just so knowledgeable about her fragrances. Um, I adore watching her. Uh, so anyways, she did tag me in this video that she created. It is called 3 for 3 and we are sharing with you our three favorite notes in fragrance and then three fragrances that contain each of those notes, so for a total of nine fragrances, uh, that kind of showcase that particular note. So I have got nine different fragrances here with three of my favorite notes in perfumery. This was incredibly hard for me to choose. It was so hard for me to choose notes, but when I really sat down and thought about it, when I went through all of my fragrances, I tried to think of notes that anytime I see them listed, I just know I'm gonna love it. Um, anytime I smell it, it just makes me happy. I feel really comfortable wearing fragrances with these notes. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. I do have three different, sorry, nine different fragrances to share with you. So the first note that I chose, which is super boring and very predictable, is vanilla. Vanilla is one of my most favorite fragrances in perfumery. I love smelling vanilla in perfumes, in men's cologne. I love to uh, scent my house with vanilla. Um, vanilla is just a beautiful, cozy, very, very mass appealing fragrance that I think a lot of us can relate to. So I've got three different fragrances here that are very, very different from each other. The first fragrance that I chose is uh, Vanilla in Sense by Atelier Cologne. So this is a beautiful, beautiful, very, very classy vanilla. This is not your typical sugary, sweet vanilla. This is not a vanilla extract smelling fragrance. This has citruses in the top, lime, and let's see, coriander, lime, citron, it's got vetiver in it, jasmine, oak moss, vanilla, it's just beautiful. It's a very um, mature, but not like mature, mature, just a very like grown up smelling vanilla. You're not going to go around smelling like a cake wearing this one, which don't get me wrong, I love to smell like a cake and I've got those fragrances. I didn't want to be too literal though with my choices. Um, I definitely wanted to showcase how these notes can be very different from each other or how this note can be used in perfumes that are all very different from each other and used in different ways. So the next one that I chose is a much sweeter choice and that is Mon Exclusif by uh, Guerlain. So um, this is, this is stunning. This is a very sweet vanilla, but this has a salted butter accord in it that gives it this kind of salty, uh, buttery, just feeling to this fragrance. It's very, very rich and decadent smelling. It's beautiful. It smells a lot like Mon Guerlain. Mon Guerlain to me it smells much drier. Um, it's got a lot of lavender in it and a lot of vanilla. Those are the two notes that I smell the most in it. So if you replace the lavender with like a rich, sugary, salty butter accord, that's what you would get with Mon Exclusif. And I get a lot of uh, people asking me that question, what is the difference? That is the main difference. This is vanilla used in a very um, comforting, sweet, rich, warm, like buttery way. So uh, Mon Exclusive has Fougere Accords of Fresh Burn, Oriental Notes. It does, I'm sorry, it does still have lavender in it, um, but the lavender is very, very played down in this. It's definitely not the same amount of lavender that you would get in the original. Uh, this is sandalwood. It's got caramel in it as well, which really just gives it a lot of richness. Uh, salted butter, coumarin, and vanilla. So this is vanilla used in 
Not a gourmand way because I would not say that this fragrance is gourmand, but it's definitely used in more of like a rich, buttery, um, smooth, just adding a lot of sweetness to the base of this. It's just really, really beautiful. Very, very different than the Atelier Cologne's one. And then my third fragrance that I chose for my note of vanilla is Van Cleef, and this is not going to be any for any uh, surprise to any of you. Van Cleef and Arpels. Uh, this is the Orchidea Vigny. This is from their Extraordinaire collection, and this is a spicy vanilla. So this is like. A vanilla extract type fragrance so it is a very literal vanilla but there is a lot going on in here um, but to my nose this is more of like a spicy vanilla so this is mandarin orange lychee bitter almond dark chocolate rose violet um, vanilla cedar tonka bean musk and almond sorry <laughs> and vanilla orchid this is beautiful. This is the most literal vanilla fragrance of the three that I chose. Uh, this is just beautiful. All of the notes in here really give a lot of um, like depth to the vanilla. It's definitely more of like a vanilla extract type smelling fragrance, but all of the other notes combined with the vanilla in this one really give this one a lot of depth. It gives it a lot of staying power on my skin. I know some of you have said that this doesn't last on your skin. Um, I am lucky enough that this is one of the vanilla fragrances that really, really sticks with me, even though my skin eats up vanilla like crazy. Um, I have really good luck with this one. Um, but yeah, this is just a really, really beautiful, spicy um, vanilla extract type vanilla that is just stunning. So those are my three vanilla fragrances. The next note that I chose, and this was really, really hard because it was a real toss-up between this one and Frangipani because I adore Frangipani in fragrance, um, but I think if I really had to choose one of those two of these two flowers I would choose this one and it is tuberose so tuberose is by far one of my favorite florals in fragrance I just love the different ways that tuberose can be used the differences in fragrance um, that have so many fragrances have tuberose in them but some are very little literal tuberose fragrances some are just tuberose is kind of a background note um, so I have three different fragrances here that I feel like really showcase the note so well. The first one I want to talk about is Stella McCartney Pop. So Stella McCartney Pop is literally two notes and it is synthetic tuberose and synthetic sandalwood. So this one, it's hard for me to smell this one out of the bottle because it doesn't have a cap that like holds the fragrance in there. Um, but this is gorgeous. It is you really really smell the tuberose it is a literal tuberose but it's not a sweet tuberose it's not a sorry it is a sweet tuberose it's not a buttery tuberose it's not an animalic tuberose it's not indolic in any way it's just a beautiful fresh crisp sweet tuberose and then combined with the sandalwood it makes it kind of a, a woody fragrance so it's like a woody tuberose fragrance. Two notes, stunning, stunning. I love this fragrance. It lasts really, really well on my skin and it's just one of those uh, fragrances that's really easy to just reach for and spray on. Um, it can be worn any time of day. It's not gonna be offensive to anybody. Um, it could be worn any time of the year. It's just really, really beautiful and this is just a really, really easy tuberose uh, that I think a lot of people would enjoy. The second one that I want to talk about is definitely a straightforward, beautiful, buttery tuberose. I do not have a full bottle of this one yet, though this is one that I will be adding a full bottle to my collection at some point. And this is uh, Rogue Perfumery, and uh, which is available on Lucky Scent now or on their Etsy shop. But Rogue Perfumery, and this is Champs Lunaire. Lunaires. Lunaire, I think. Uh, this is gorgeous. This is a very literal buttery tuberose fragrance. Um, these lids are so hard to get off. Oh my goodness, it's so good. 
so this is more of a um, traditional tuberose fragrance. This is very much focused and centered on the flower itself. So Champs Lunaires is white rose, pomelo, sandalwood, coconut milk, musk, tuberose, and it's a buttery tuberose. So again, this is not like indolic or animalic in any way. It's not, uh, it's not a super sweet tuberose. It's more of a very smooth, creamy, buttery tuberose. It's just gorgeous. So, and that fragrance really is all about the tuberose. It highlights that one note. The third one that I want to talk about is Dolled Up from Layered, and this is a clone of um, Supreme Bouquet from YSL. So YSL's like their kind of um, exclusive line, I don't know, I'm not sure what it's called, but their like exclusive line um, has a fragrance called Supreme Bouquet. Dolled Up is a clone of that fragrance. This is a stunning, stunning tuberose. This has a lot going on in it though. It's not just solely tuberose and this is not a buttery tuberose. This is more of a very straightforward like you're smelling the flower. It's really really beautiful. So this is tuberose, fruits, ylang ylang, jasmine, amber, patchouli, musk, pear, and pink pepper. And that's what it smells like, like a fruity tuberose fragrance. It's really, really beautiful. The tuberose isn't too overpowering in this, but it is definitely present. Like, it's definitely one of the star notes of this fragrance. I just adore it. I love tuberose. I love the versatility of it. I love how different it can smell in different fragrances, and it's just definitely one of my top three notes of all time. Okay, and last but not least, this is not going to come as a surprise to anybody, um, but my third note that I would choose is definitely almond. Now, I had a hard time uh, deciding between almond and pistachio. Um, I love pistachio, I just don't think that I own enough fragrances with that as like a star note in it to have done a video on it, so um, I went ahead and went with almond because I love it equally. If I see almond listed in the notes of a fragrance, I'm quite sure I'm gonna love it. Uh, the first almond perfume that I want to talk about is Hypnotic Poison, so this is beautiful. This is a beautiful, powdery, sweet almond fragrance. This has anise in it, so a little bit of licorice. It's got some jasmine in it. It's just gorgeous. This is such a beautiful fragrance. So this is apricot, plum, coconut, tuberose, <laughs> jasmine, lily of the valley, rose, Brazilian rosewood, caraway, sandalwood, almond, vanilla, and musk. And to my nose, almond really is the star of the show here. That's the first thing I smell when I smell it out of the bottle. When it dries down on my skin, it's really the star of the show. It's a beautiful, sweet, powdery almond. And I really, really love it. Okay, my second fragrance with an almond note in it that is gorgeous is Ely Saab Girl of Now. So this fragrance actually has both almond and pita... pista... <laughs> So this fragrance has both almond and pistachio in it. This note is a, there. it's a tie for me as to whether it's an almond or a an orange blossom fragrance. Both notes are equally present. Uh, neither overpowers the other. You can smell them very, very equally, but I love this. The almond in this is beautiful. This has almond and almond milk in it, and like I say, as well as the pistachio, with a heavy, heavy orange blossom. It's really, really stunning. The almond is very, very present. It's sweet. It brings a grounding note to this so that it doesn't become overly sweet. To me, the almond in this keeps it from becoming cloying because I feel like if the almond were not present in this, the almond and the, pest the pistachio, that this would be a very cloying fragrance. But because those two notes are there, it makes it, it grounds this fragrance and keeps it from becoming overly sweet. This is a beautiful fragrance. It just creates a soft cloud around you and I smell almond and orange blossom and pistachio all day long. Beautiful fragrance. Longevity on this one is 
fantastic lasts forever on my skin so that is Elisov Girl of Now my second almond note fragrance that I love and the last one that I love that has almond in it is Aqua de Parma this is the Blue Mediterraneo Mandorlo di Sicilia so again this is one that when I very first open it and smell it and also on my skin, this dries down to almond. It's a very beautiful powdery almond fragrance. This one also has some anise in it, so it's definitely um, it's definitely similar to Hypnotic Poison, but not really. This has some frangipani flower in it, almond, anise. It's just really beautiful. The almond note is really the star of the show in this one, though. It really dries down to be really, really beautiful and almond and anise heavy. Ugh, it's stunning. So the almond in this one is more of a... It's not like a super powdery almond. It's like the... Almond is tempering the anise note in this so that the black licorice note, it doesn't get too overpowering. It's just beautiful. So Mandorla di Cecilia is bergamot, frangipani, orange blossom, green almond, star anise, white peach, coffee grains, white jasmine, bourbon vanilla, light musk, cedar, and sandalwood. And it's gorgeous. I smell almond the most in this fragrance. It's really, really beautiful and very, very unique. And I just feel like Almond is another one of those notes that can be so versatile. Though I don't think it's quite as versatile as uh, Vanilla or Tuberose. I think Almond a lot of the time smells quite literal. It smells like Almond, but it can be sweet, it can be powdery, uh, it can be gourmand, it can be, be many different things. I do have many more Almond fragrances than these three, but I felt like these three just showcase the notes so well. So anyways guys, that is it for my 3 for 3 video. Thank you so much again to Rose and Jones for tagging me on this video. I would like to tag three people. I don't know if they watch my channel at all, so I don't know if they will see this tag. Um, but I will give it a shot. I would love to tag Amy Loves Perfume. I would love to see her three favorite notes and then the fragrances that she would choose. I would love to see Emmy Ever After do this video. Again, I would love to see what her three favorite notes are and what fragrances she would choose. And I would love to tag Casually Fragrance. Again, I would be very interested to see what she would choose. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was super fun for me to do. Very quickly on my eyes today, I am wearing uh, ColourPop's palette, Give Me Butterflies. So I just went in with this kind of dusky, I don't know, it's kind of a mauve shade. And then went over almost the entire lid with this purple. Um, this is one of those matte shades with like gold glitter in it. So I went in with that over the lid. And then I used the glitter on top of that. So... I love ColourPop shadows. They are probably my number one. Um, ColourPop is probably my number one makeup brand because I just think that the quality for um, the cost is just outstanding. Uh, and then on my lips, I am wearing Bite Beauty, and this is just one of their Amuse Bouche lipsticks, and this is in the shade Thistle, which is just a really pretty, um, cool toned on camera. It's just a really pretty cool toned uh, purple, like grayish almost. It's like a purple gray color. Um, it's just really pretty, but my lips are all torn up right now, so I need like nourishing things. And then my scent of the day is, uh, but, sorry, not by the fireplace. My scent of the day is Whispers in the Library by Replica. This is a beautiful, cozy fragrance. It's meant to smell like, you know, old books and paper and the wood in the library. And I think it's got some vanilla in it. It's just really, really nice. Mm, I love it. This is one that my husband doesn't like. He thinks it smells too mature. 
I love it though. I just think it's cozy and comforting and it's really, really cold outside. So it's just like perfect for that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.